Well, hi everybody. Well, today we're going to make chocolate cupcakes. A couple of days ago, we attempted chocolate cupcakes and we used a cake recipe and of course it collapsed. It did not come out. The secret of making cupcakes is you do not add oil. You use butter. Three tablespoons of unsalted butter. This is what's going to make all the difference here, folks. We're in cupcake land today, and I'm just cupcake. I'm going to cream my butter and sugar together. I'm adding in one and one half cups of granulated white sugar. We're going to cream this together. Do not add oil. Do not add water to cupcakes. It will not come out. And also, folks, guess what? Today is the first day of spring. It's hard to believe it. It's 23 degrees out. Today's the first day of spring, folks. What a beautiful day. It's in the 20s. It's very cold for the first day of spring. We're adding in two eggs. Okay, let's put this here. Mix. Yep. I'm going to take a teaspoon of it. Whatever it is, it's got to come out right. It's got to be to the tea. It will not come out. And then a little bit of one teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's very important to do that, folks, because it gives you that taste you want. Yeah, today, I think spring is a very nice time of year. We go for heights as it gets warm. And right now, it, it, the first day, so obviously it's more like winter than spring, obviously. But we do have some things starting to bloom, which I'm really excited about, you know. Mix it together. Now, the next thing is I'm going to go to my dry. I'm going to add in my flour. I'm adding in one and one third cup of flour. Dry. I'm adding in one and one third cups of all purpose flour. Like I said, this is a little bit different than a cake. You know, a cake is a lot different. I'm adding in a one fourth, one fourth teaspoon of soda. I'm adding in one tablespoon of baking powder. This is unbelievable. One teaspoon of baking powder. Now, the next thing is I have to add in my cocoa. This is going to turn them into chocolate cupcakes, obviously. All right. I'm adding in three-fourths cup of cocoa. Where is it? Here it is. Like I say, a cake recipe is a lot different than a cupcake recipe, folks. It really surprised me, too, because I've been cooking my whole life, folks, and it really surprised me that... I attempted to make cupcakes and use a cake recipe, and guess what? It flattened. Use Hershey's cocoa at all times, and it really gives a delicious taste. We always had cocoa around. Always Hershey's cocoa. Now, we're going to mix this together. Mix, mix, mix. Now, the next step is we're going to alternate the dry and the milk. Cupcake man is a beautiful place. Everything is made out of cupcakes. So everything is blended together because you don't want to take any chances at all. For some reason, it just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay. Move everything over here. Where my milk? Lose whole milk. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe today's the first day of springtime. We didn't have much of a winter this year. We had some, but very little. But today, of course, it's the first day of spring, and it's in the 20s. Who should know? I'm adding in the dry with one cup of milk. Alternate. Is we're going to just mix it together with a spoon. I'm going to get to the sink. I'm going to have to mix in a minute. Mix, mix, mix. Now, like I said, there's a big difference in a cupcake recipe than a cake recipe. Want everything mixed together. Okay. I'm grabbing my cupcake. Uh, we, put, we have cupcake tins in here. Now, the next thing is, don't fill it all the way up to the top either, because you know what? They're going to rise by themselves. There we go. About halfway up. Cupcake land. We're going to pop this in the oven and cook this for, bake this for 15 minutes. 350. 
Welcome back to Cupcake Land. These are what cupcakes are supposed to look like, folks. They're not supposed to be flattened, folks. When they're flattened, they're just no good. You can't, you can't even enjoy it. You can't even present it because it just doesn't look presentable. And it was really sad. So you can't ever use a cake recipe to make cupcakes. It just doesn't come out. So we're back to Cupcake Land and everything is made out of cupcakes. So we're doing vanilla and chocolate. When I was a little girl, I used to love frosting cupcakes when my grandma did, but used to bake them. Here we go. My grandmother was a top-notch baker, I'm telling you, and her mom was even better than my grandmother, who's the figure. Okay, here we go. This is what you want them to look like. We're we'll also be making these for Easter Sunday. We're going to be decorating with beautiful jelly beans. This paper's coming off a little bit. We don't know why, but whatever. All right, now we'll put this over here, and I'm going to do the chocolate. I like using milk chocolate frosting. It tastes a lot. Where do you think you're going, you little devil? Mittens fault anyway. Right, Mittens? Folks, you want to hear something funny? We have a toy box for the cats. And we don't know how they're figuring it out, but they keep knocking it over. Here we go. Look how pretty that is. This is what you want to see with cupcakes, folks. You don't want to see a flattened cupcake because you know, it's not presentable, you know. Sometimes the paper will come off if it sticks to the muffin tin, not to worry. Here we go. Oh, look how beautiful that is, folks. We have chocolate and we have vanilla frosted cupcakes. Look how beautiful that is. These are what cupcakes are supposed to look like. From Cupcake Lands, Home Country Kitchen, I'm Miss Cupcake. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.